Hey guys, it's Fonzie with Dip Your Car and I'm so excited about today's video. Now, if you've been watching the channel several weeks back, we tried for the first time creating a matte candy finish. We did matte candy apple red on the Evo and it came out awesome. Looked just like an anodized red. So obviously we told you guys, if you like it, we'll try it with other colors. And the biggest request we got is to try it with, let me show you what I got, purple. So I got the House of Color, Purple, classic purple candy concentrate. We're doing it on the RS7. Can't wait for this one. Enjoy the video. Now, as far as the base coat for this project, we were actually thinking about switching things up for a change. And instead of spraying the purple candy concentrate over a metallic silver base like we normally do, we were thinking about putting the purple over a purple pearl to see how that changes things. But we want to kind of compare this project and contrast it to the matte candy apple red. So we've got a silver metallic base down on the R7 right now. It looks gorgeous. And we're going to start mixing up the purple candy concentrate, spraying that on top. And in the future, I think we're going to do a color match of the candy and the pearl. I got to see what that looks like. Either way, let's keep going. All right, guys, going into this one, I did have my hopes up high. I was hoping for that deep, anodized kind of looking purple. This did not let me down. This might be, Gabe, tell me if I'm wrong, the deepest purple we've ever done. Yeah. He's saying yeah. So here's what I want you to do. Check out the car when we bring it outside. We need a name for this one. Check the purple out, digest it for a second, and then leave a comment below. Let me know what you would name this color. If you want to dip your own car, click right up here. We have a ton of kits and colors to choose from. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.
All right, so let me show you guys what we're working with today. This is House of Color. All right, so let me show you guys exactly what we're working with today. This right here is House of Color Clear Candy. Now, as far as the base, we were thinking about actually switching it up a little bit and trying the, it's not blue, what color are we doing? Purple. Purple. Now, as far as the base, we were thinking about switching it up a little bit and actually trying the purple candy over a purple. This is what happens when you film and you don't eat breakfast. Now, as far as base coat, we were actually thinking of switching it up a little bit and trying the purple candy over a purple pearl. It's not a really hard to say, purple pearl. Focus. Now, as far as base coat, we were thinking about actually switching it up this time and trying the purple candy over a purple pearl instead. And that may be something that could look, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. You wanna do this? You can do it. Now, as far as the base coat this time, we were thinking about switching it up and trying the purple candy over a purple pearl just to see how that would affect the candy. But we don't want to do the matte candy one color, one way, and then something, I don't even care. Now, as far as the base coat this time, we were thinking about switching it up and trying the purple candy concentrate over a purple pearl instead of the silver. But because we're kind of comparing and keeping the trend going from the matte candy apple red, we want to stick to the script. We're going to do it over carbon silver this time. That's not the pearl. Holy shit. This whole video is going to have more bloopers in the content. Now, as far as the base coat this time, we were thinking about switching it up. We were thinking maybe we use the purple candy concentrate over a purple pearl instead of the usual silver pearl. I can't. I can't. I all right, now as far as the base coat for this project, we were actually thinking about switching it up a little bit and actually spraying the purple candy concentrate over a purple pearl instead of the usual sterling silver base. But because we're kind of keeping the same trend that we used with the matte candy apple red, we're gonna keep everything status quo and we put a sterling silver base down on the RS7. But in the future, what did I do? Did I say, huh? I said that shit again? to myself in my office, I'm like, should I eat before I film or should I just knock it out? I should have eaten something. Now, as far as the base coat for this project, we were thinking about actually switching it up a little bit and spraying the purple candy concentrate over a purple pup. Is there a better way to say that? Is that a tongue twister just for me or anybody else? Now, as far as the base coat for this project, we had an idea. We were actually thinking about switching things up and instead of spraying the purple candy concentrate over a silver pearl like we normally do, we were thinking about maybe spraying it over a purple one instead. But because we kind of want to keep the trend going from the matte, uh, can, what the f was it? Candy apple red. Now, as far as the base coat for this project, we were actually thinking about switching it up for a change. We were thinking maybe the purple candy concentrate should go over a purple pearl instead of the usual silver metallic pearl that we normally spray candies over. But we want to keep this on the same trend as the matte candy apple red to see how it compares in contrast. So we're going to actually spray this over a 